word of God. John the Baptizer appeared in the wilderness, proclaiming a baptism of repentance for the forgiveness of sins. And people from the whole Judean countryside and all the people of Jerusalem were going out to him and were baptized by him in the river Jordan, confessing their sins. Now John was clothed with camel's hair, with a leather belt around his waist, and he ate locusts and wild honey. He proclaimed, The one who is more powerful than I is coming after me. I am not worthy to stoop down and untie his sandals. I have baptized you with water, but he will baptize you with the Holy Spirit. In those days, Jesus came from Nazareth of Galilee and was baptized by John in the Jordan. And just as he was coming up out of the water, he saw the heavens torn apart and the Spirit descending like a dove on him. And a voice came from heaven, You are my Son, the Beloved. With you I am well pleased. Hi there. This is the baptismal font in our sanctuary. Maybe you've seen it before when you've been here. Maybe you haven't. It's a baptismal font, and every church, at least every Christian church, will have one somewhere. Sometimes at the front of the church. Sometimes they're by the front door of the church. Sometimes they have water in them, and sometimes they're dry. Sometimes they have a lid, like this one does, and sometimes they're open, like this is now. Most of them either have a basin carved into them if they're stone, or if they're wood, they have a bowl, like this, in some fashion. And this is where the water is kept. This one, because it's wood, is dry right now, because we don't want to damage the wood. But in some churches where there's a stone baptismal font at the, at the door where people enter, there is water kept in it, so that as people come by, they can dip their hand in and put it on their forehead or their hands and be reminded of their baptismal vows. Now, you might not remember your baptismal vows because maybe your parents made them for you when you were little. But there are things that we promise when we're baptized. We promise to love God. We promise to try and live out God's teachings. And we promise to do our best each day to bring the message of God to the world around us. Now, because probably you were baptized as a child, you may not remember what it looks like. So I have a handy dandy baby here. And we're going to walk through what a baptism looks like. Let me get the baby. Ta-da! Here's our baby. I borrowed baby Jesus from the manger. I don't think he'll mind. In our story this week, Jesus was baptized as an adult, and he went down in the River Jordan. And some churches still do that. People are fully immersed, immersed in running water. Some churches, like the United Church, we have our baptismal font. And when it comes time for a baby to be baptized, the minister, me, or Nancy in this case, take the baby to the font and the parents come with us and they would be standing here and we hold the baby and with water in the font, we put our hand in the water and we make the sign of the cross on the baby's forehead. Just a down and up and across. And we say some words and the two together what may, are what makes somebody baptized. So what words do we say? We say, I baptize you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Sometimes we might get fresh water each time we do that. Some ministers might put a handful of water over the baby's entire head as they say this. And it's all about reminding ourselves what Jesus did with his cousin John at the River Jordan, putting the water on the baby's head and dedicating that baby to a life lived with God. The parents make those promises on the baby's behalf, or if it's an adult, we do the same thing. We get their head wet, we make the sign of the cross, and the adult says that they want to live their life loving God and following God's teachings. 
It's a way of choosing to say that we want to follow God and that we love God and that we want to do our best to live out God's purpose in the world. It's something that's really important for Christians to do. Whether we do it as a baby or whether we do it as an adult, it's about a dedicating of ourselves to living out God's love in the world. And that's what's really important. Thank you, baby Jesus. You did an awesome job. Things that make you think. Exploring the word in the world.